Hello there, if you want to see how this link tree works, if you are a small business, if you are a great business, if you are just starting, if you are a influencer, if you are just a business of one, I think this might be the barrier for you because everything is going to be just in one simple link. So for this tutorial guys, I'm going to be leaving you a link down below in the description so you can get a free access to link tree. And as much links as you want to add into your custom website. So here, as you can see, there are like a few elements of how it's going to be looking your brand, whether you are a e-commerce brand, whether you are creating uh, some events, whether you are like a photograph or an artist. So this one is going to be helping us a lot. So once you get into the sign up for free, it's going to be asking for an email, a phone number, your information, your basic information, and you can just start it right away. And here, what I want to choose here, what I want to be showing you is something like this. Once you create your account, it's going to be looking like this. So I can get started with my first website. So if I create it, for example, it's going to be asking for a link tree slash and this one is my actual website so if I clicked into the share option I'm gonna copy my link tree my custom link tree and I'm gonna paste it in here so as you can see this is the link that was generated automatically by link tree so now we do have access to this website so what we want to do is to customize it because we already have a website a custom website from link to tree so it was really, really easy. We didn't have to do absolutely anything, right? So what I want to do is to close this for a second. And then when, what we want to do is to get started here into Matt, into this specific uh, example. So for example, let's say that I am a freelancer that dedicates myself into, let's say the photograph field. So what I want to do is to go into add new link and let's say here into the title, I want to go for my portfolio. My portfolio, like this. So here into the URL, let's say for example, I want to choose some uh, mountain uh, 4K photos. And I'm going to be choosing just this image, like this one, uh, only for this. Um, for this for this example I'm not gonna be creating an account can delete this copy this link and paste it as if it was my own portfolio so what I want to do is to add a new link so as you can see links are gonna be added as we add more and more and more so for example if I am a freelancer I want people to contact me right so let's say here's my my socials or let's say my Instagram and here I can add a URL and as you can see into this side I want to see I'd love to see like some characters or some symbols so here into my portfolio I'm going to be choosing the thumbnail and go into set thumbnail choose from table icons and I want to look for a camera all right so I think I love this one and go into change so I think it's looking really, really great so we do have everything successfully and if I want to put this up what I just need to do is to drag my my header option and put that in here if I hit into the header what's going to happen is going to be appearing a headed uh, uh, title so for example let's say that this is my personal uh, website or landing page like this landing page so if I hit um, outside of the header it's going to be appearing something like this so there we go. So once again, here into my Instagram, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to change the thumbnail, choose from ta table coins, uh, choose from the table icons, and look for Instagram. And there we go. Now, if you think that this thumbnail it looks like really, really basic to you, uh, it's going to be really, really simple. I mean, I can just go into the Google, uh, go for Instagram logo and I want to choose this logo and I can just download this image and use it as the icon. So let's say for example that I want to just uh, copy my image, go into change 
and instead of using a terrible coin one to upload my own thumbnail so here I can paste and voila it's looking much more interesting right so uh, I'm gonna be going into the appearance because I don't want to be focusing a lot into the links because you can add as much as you want to and here into my profile title let's say I want to edit Matt Max Steven like this and as you can see we're just starting to see that it's going to be looking uh, much more interesting right so I want to scroll and down here and I can choose some different themes but as you can see there are a few templates that are not for the free version so if I go into the upgrade if I want to create an account with different plans there are three plans that can be helping me as a starter plan as a pro and as a premium now you don't have to be worrying about these prices because this price is appears in MXN so uh, because I'm currently based into Mexico City that's the uh, the currency that works into my country so speaking about the AD MXN is up to four dollars per month which I think I think it's really low price but here for example you want to make compares between these different options so for example the pro version has everything Star has but it also has the lifetime analytics integrations commas collected emails remove the logo of linked tree see your transaction fees for a limited time so if you think that one of these options can fit for you in your brand choose one of those and just get started so uh, i'm gonna go back into my link tree the free version i want to create my own theme and see what are the free tools that i can use so for example i'm gonna be, cho be choosing the gradient and here into the gradient let's say i want to choose for a color something like a little bit more fancier like this so there we go it looks more interesting right something like this for example and here into the buttons I want to look for something more elegant like for example the shaft shadows alright so it's looking much interesting right and lastly here if I want to change the funds and the color I can do that in my case I think I love this this funds and lastly I just need to go into my profile and pick an image in order to 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 help me to customize my website so here I'm just gonna look for a camera like this one for example or like this one I mean in, in your own example I mean you can just <laughs> upload your own image but in my case I do want to focus only something related into the photography so just as an example so I'm gonna get into upload and once I do have successfully done all of that actually I'm going to change just the color real quick into something more greener I want to go back into share copy my link open a new tab paste my link and make a preview of how it's going to be looking so as you can see we do have our own version here the portfolio the Instagram the share options there's this is like a create your link tree now in my case I cannot delete this option because you are using a free version so if you are using a pro version you can just delete these options and try to look for something more interesting choose more themes and all that but I think so far as a free tool as free tools into link tree we do have what we need to so I think it, it looks really really great I'm gonna stick around with this uh, website um, and I can edit my own stuff there so there you have it guys now you know how to create your own links your ad appearance into the analytics you're going to be tracking every people who enters in here into your link and, and how much money you're going to be earning and all that so hopefully guys this was a very useful video for you thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more tips about link tree more tips about creating your landing page good luck out there with your landing page thank you once again entirely for watching this video and i'll see you on the next one guys see you soon